When I was in college, I really enjoyed some of the international business classes I took. And I had an opportunity to travel to and live in Spain for a summer between my junior and senior year. And I often remember thinking, I want to travel internationally. I want to get into international business. And I looked at a number of options related to jobs that would take me to other countries. And that opportunity shifted a bit when one year out of school, I got in my car accident and really changed the trajectory of my life to some extent in regards to how I looked at friends and family and what I was really meant to do, why I was here. And so I, I took a little bit of a bend in the road. I didn't go into international business. I took on roles that were a little more local. I'm so excited to say now that finally <laughs> at age 42, it looks like I'm gonna have that opportunity to do business internationally. We recently had an international licensing inquiry by an amazing woman in Sweden. She heard our story through a podcast and through a series of months in working over Skype and email and going through our license discovery process. She recently came to San Diego for the final step of that process and spent time in each of our locations with the directors, with myself, and with a lot of our members. And I can't believe I get to say that Hera Hub is going international. Sophia has joined our team, joined our family, so to speak, and is working on getting a location open just outside of Stockholm. So it took a few years, but finally I get to say that I am an international business person. I see so many opportunities for exchange between the US and Sweden. And the fun part of the story for me is I happen to be half Swedish, quarter Danish and quarter Norwegian. And sadly, I hadn't had the opportunity, although I've traveled quite extensively, to go to Scandinavia yet. So it really comes full circle as much of my story <laughs> and Hera Hub story come together to be able to have the opportunity to take the concept to Sweden first.